Hello friends, welcome to another Tech for Lecturers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can produce gift questions much, much faster than before. If you watched my older video, I walk you through the various concepts behind the gift format. But in this video, I'm going to keep it short and just show you how you can accelerate your production of multiple choice questions, essay type questions, true or false questions in the gift format for Moodle. So what you need to do, I'll quickly jump to the browser. I'll close this new tab. Go to Google and search for Visual Studio Code. This is a piece of software that we're going to be using to replace Sublime Text. I used to love Sublime Text and I still do, but I think Visual Studio Code has a neat feature that takes things to the next level. So when you're here and you have searched for Visual Studio Code, just click on download and it'll take you to this, play, to this page where you're given the various options for the various operating systems that um, are supported. So I'm on a Windows system and I went ahead and I downloaded Windows. If you need to download and install it, you can pause the video here, then we'll continue after you are done. After installing Visual Studio Code, you will see the welcome screen and you can change your color theme by clicking here and you can choose the lighter version if you prefer that. I generally prefer the dark theme and I hope it's something that will be easy on your eyes as you're watching this video. Now that we are here, we want to open a new file. So I'll click on new file over there and our file is going to be a plain text file. So I'm going to save it by navigating to file, save as, and I will choose the file format plain text. Then I'll just call this test. That's going to be our test file. Now that we have created our test file, we're going to install an extension that will make this whole process of making gift files much, much faster. For you to do so, just go to view and click on extensions. When you click on extensions, you can search in the search bar there for gift. And when you click on gift, it should load up. So when you see the three extensions that come up, click on install for the extension pack. This one has both the first one and the second one combined. You need both. So I'll just click on uh, install. And as you can see, it is installing. All right. So once that's done, you can see this, in, this extension is enabled globally. So I can close this and I can now close this sidebar by just right clicking at the top there and hide sidebar. Now that we have everything else set, we're now going to go into the exciting part of the video. What Visual Studio Code with the GIFT extension pack does is it gives you a visual way of creating GIFT questions and you can see it visually as you're making the questions. So the first thing that I'll recommend you to do is right click anywhere in the text editor and click on open preview to the side. This gives you a summary of the different commands that you can use to make the different questions. So as you can see, if you want to make a multiple choice question, you will just type multiple choice question and you will have the options. Let's test that out. So I'll go into my text editor and type multiple. As you can see, I'm already given these options here and you can use your mouse to click or I'd rather, su I'd rather suggest that you use your keyboard. It's much faster and you just press tab and you can see I have a template for a multiple choice question. And over to the right, I can already see how it will be presented on Moodle. It's a multiple choice question. This is uh, the question here. That's the correct answer, the first one, and the other answers are incorrect. So let's just continue. I haven't uh, clicked anywhere, so I can still continue typing. Instead of clicking with my mouse, I can just type, start typing the question. All right, once I have the question typed, for me to move on to the first answer choice, which is the correct answer, I just hit tab and I can type my name, Clyde. Then to go to the next answer choices, I hit tab again and I can put any wrong answers there. All right, so that's how you simply add your questions and your answer choices. And you can clearly see 
they are populated over to the right. So this provides a visual interface for you to create the different questions. Now, once you're done with your first question, you might be asking, how do I know how to type the other question types? You just come to the question mark at the bottom right, click on that, and it'll give you that summary once again. So this is the, the long summary which really outlines what you can do. But there's a faster way of even creating these questions. If you scroll down to the bottom, you see where it says advanced snippets. Now this will allow you to control the options that you get in the answer choices. So you can see, for example, for multiple choice questions, you can type MCQ, that gives you the standard four answer question, like the one that we have already typed there. Or you can just use this one with a number. So if you were to say MC3, that will give you three answer choices. Let's try it out. So I'll create a new line and type MC3 and hit tab. There you see, I have three answer choices and I can just uh, add the answer choices like before. So please go and explore all these other types that you can see, true or false, ESA, ETC. If you want to add a category to your file, you can just quickly, let me go back to the top there, and you can just type cat and hit tab. So you can give your question, your file a category, and now you don't have to memorize all these things. You have it right with you all the time. How easy can this be? That's why I'm so excited about Visual Studio Code, and I hope you will be excited as you use it to make your, your multiple choice questions, your multiple answer questions, your matching questions, ETC, test it out, put it through its paces, and let me know if this was a helpful video by hitting the like button and commenting below this video. If you have any other tutorials that you would want me to make for you, please let me know. I am more than happy to try and do my best to help you become a better lecturer. Until next time, have a great day.